the trailer for a mission that has all the makings of a Hollywood thriller. The oceans are life, our life, and 95% of them remain unknown. The Necton mission will go to places never explored, diving into the darkness of the twilight zone where life may exist in forms never seen before. To discover the secrets of the deep before the ocean's demise triggers our own. The scientists have already surveyed the seas around Bermuda. Next month, they'll use submersibles to check the health of deep water coral reefs in the Seychelles. Many species spend part of their lives, say, in the mangrove forest or part of their lives in the seagrass bed before migrating as they grow to a coral reef. So if we lose the coral reefs, then other ecosystems in the region are affected by that. They're up against it. The US Ocean Monitoring Agency has tracked a surge of warm water and the likely damage it does to coral as it spreads across the Indian Ocean. So this is like a mini reef? Yep, exactly. So we've got At the our... University of Derby, scientists are studying the impact on coral of rising sea temperatures caused by climate change. It turns a ghostly white. This is the bleaching process in close-up. We've got some coral here that's been stressed for a few days. Now, under the heat of the microscope lights, it's really not reacting very well at all. You can see on the screen here the brown algae that give the coral its colour and its main food source are being expelled. If this continued for a few more days, the coral would die. A quarter of marine life depends on coral reefs for food, shelter, or as a place to raise their young. Already half of all shallow reefs have been reduced to rubble. Almost all the rest will follow if the seas continue to warm. I've seen near 100% coral cover uh, in many instances all around the world and it's a beautiful thing to behold. Unfortunately, that is becoming a rarer and rarer event. You have to go further afield, uh, usually to far offshore reefs, uh, to still see this. Sky News will be with the scientists as they look for evidence that deeper coral reefs are more likely to survive climate change. Already the Seychelles government is taking action to protect great swathes of its ocean territory. We have a motto in Seychelles which goes uh, like this, our children, our treasures. So if we do not look after the resources that they will have to enjoy when we are gone, then who are we? New research by the Met Office suggests global temperatures will hit a record high in the next five years. The coral reefs will feel the brunt, and the research of the Necton scientists could be critical. Thomas Moore, Sky News.